Hey there, so in this video, I'm gonna show you four different types of minor scales. And each one of these scales has got kind of like a different flavor and is evocative of different musical styles and atmospheres. So if you learn to kind of master these scales and learn these different fingerings and then intermingle them, it's a really fantastic way to kind of make your playing more colorful and more interesting. All right, so let's start off with the first one. And this is the easiest one to master. So this is the blues scale and it goes like this. <laughs> And this scale is derived from the pentatonic scale, the minor pentatonic scale. And the minor pentatonic scale is just this effortless, amazingly easy and beautiful scale. It's, you can just kind of go up and down and it contains all these beautiful melodies. It's really easy to use. And part of the reason why that is, is because there's not a lot of tension in the scale. There's not a lot of dissonance. Like every, every note that you land on sounds good. But when you get into the blue scale, you're, what you're doing is you're taking that minor pentatonic, but you're adding this dissonant note. And that note is a diminished fifth. It's that note there, which adds an awful lot of tension. So it really changes the, even though it's just one note, it really changes the sound of the scale. Now, when you land on that note, it's really a dissonant sound. But if you pass through that note, it just adds this really kind of colorful, cool ornamentation to the sound. And you can kind of slide in and out of that note. And the more you add that note in, the more dissonant it's going to sound. The more you emphasize that note. You know, if you like land on that note, it's going to sound kind of weird. But if you pass through it, you can add some interesting melodies in there. Anyway, so that's cool. But one of the other thing, interesting things is when it goes from being a five note scale to a six note scale, all of a sudden the phrasing and the, and the way your licks land on the beat are going to change. So it really makes it into a completely different scale. So rather than just having this sound when you're playing over a chord, now it's going to be so the notes land in different beats. All right, so the next scale is the natural minor scale. Now this is a diatonic scale, which means it's made up from whole and half steps. It's a seven note scale, and it's got a really beautiful and kind of a sad sound to it. And the real flavor in this scale, it sounds like this, the real flavor is the minor sixth, which is like this. Now that's the, sad, that's the minor sixth note, which has this beautiful sound to it. has this kind of melancholy sound to it. It's a very melodic sounding scale. And that, that minor six note kind of wants to resolve, it kind of wants to move back to the fifth. So it has that beautiful sound to it. So you can really make some beautiful scales with the natural minor scale and it's also kind of like the shadow relation to the major scale so it's the relative minor to the major scale okay so next up we've got the dorian scale which is like this and this is a great sounding scale it's kind of got a bit of a jazzy sound to it it's much beloved by players like santana or miles davis it's actually a modal scale and the money note in this scale is the major sixth, which is right here. So as you can see that scale, it kind of adds this kind of major quality to the minor scale and it gives it this kind of kind of jazzy lift towards the major, even though it's it's minor, it kind of lifts it into this really cool jazzy bluesy sound. So yeah, this scale is great for blues. You can fit it right over a, a, a blues. Or you can equally find it in a kind of jazz licks. Okay, so the last scale is the harmonic minor scale. And this scale has this kind of mysterious and dissonant note, which is the augmented seventh. It sounds like this. So the scale has this kind of exotic 
sound that's almost reminiscent of music from the Middle East or music that has this really interesting sound to it used by a lot of different players everyone from shred masters like Ingve Malmsteen through to you know flamenco guitar players or is equally found in jazz music but it it has a fantastic sound <laughs> It's right over that minor chord, but it gives it a whole different kind of sound. So now you can really have some fun by mixing all these scales together, intermingling them, and moving out of the blue scale into the Dorian mode, into the natural minor, and mixing and matching them and create some fantastic minor sounds. Mm -hmm. 